today I have the pleasure of speaking with Jim Engel from Mass Gold. How are you today, Jim? I'm terrific, Tracy. How are you? We were just talking before this interview started that you want people to remember you are a Saskatchewan gold exploration company. Is that correct? That is correct. We are, and uh, we're going to be one of the next Saskatchewan gold producing uh, or companies that will be in production in Saskatchewan, we believe. So let me get this straight. Saskatchewan gold company. You want everyone to remember that. Is that correct, Jim? That's correct. And you just put out some drilling results. You want to start there and give us a hot, give us some of the highlights of that, please. We did. We uh, we had a winter pro- drill program last year of 2021 uh, uh, on our two uh, main projects, the Greywacky and the North Lake, and uh, we also had a summer program on the North Lake, both of which will be incorporated into a new 43101 that'll be released sometime by the middle of December. But uh, some of the key highlights in that was uh, exceptionally uh, long uh, uh, holes with excellent grades. We had over 120 meters of of 1.37 grams, which is a a dynamite hole. And we believe that will in in turn increase our resource calculations significantly when the 43101 comes out. But what we're getting excited about is that our uh, zone appears to be uh, getting higher grades uh, as we go deeper and it's widening. So all very exciting. And of course, I happen to be excited because I know your background and I know how you built very successful companies before in the past. And you're in gold in Saskatchewan. So I'm assuming we've got something extra special with this particular properties. Can you give us a little bit more of a background for those in investor intel land that are looking at gold and they may not be familiar with how incredibly exciting the Saskatchewan properties uh, potential may be? Uh, absolutely. And, and that is what's really exciting about it, because in Saskatchewan gold, uh, there is only one producing gold mine right now. Uh, there was seven producing gold mines that started in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, all of which were shut down by the turn of the century, with the exception of one, which was the Claude Resources CB Santoy. That is still producing today at a very significant level. Uh, our Properties are located in that LaRange Greenstone Belt area, right amongst the six other uh, former producing gold mines, one of which we acquired recently, Contact Lake. But our objective is to consolidate those projects into one company. uh, And we know that historically there's over 3 million ounces of resources that have been established back uh, in those when they were put into production. And that was when gold was $300 an ounce. Now it's six times that. And uh, so we know that there is economic value in in, in most if not all of those past producing ones uh, and a lot of new ones that have been discovered, but it hasn't been discovered. The area hasn't been drilled deep at all historically. And uh, that's really when you find uh, some real big bonanzas. But even the the shallow drilling up to 300 meters, uh, we have lots of resources. And of course, if you're not already impressed by Jim's excellent answers, thank you, Jim, by the way, you may find Dean Bristow's column that he did where he tips his hat to you on your incentive program. Would you like to explain that a little bit to our audience? Our incentive program was, uh, we have a a strong shareholder base uh, as the company was uh, started. And this is one of Ron Nedelitsky's companies, who is a mining hall of famer. And people have followed him for many, many years, uh, which he does. And these shareholders are followers of Ron's. And uh, as a result, we've had a lot of warrants outstanding. And uh, uh, so one of the things that we did do was we incentivized the warrant holders because they were all in the money at 10 cents. Uh, We incentivized them uh, to uh, convert uh, their, uh, exercise their warrants, and we gave them another half warrant at 30 cents. uh, And they could even convert it into a flow through if they wanted. So uh, it was very successful. We had just about 50% of the warrants 
exercised as a result of that, providing us with cash for our, our summer program, which we just finished uh, and just announced those drill results recently. Jim, I want to put you on the spot here, though. You are also, I also happen to know you're a good investor. And, uh, you know, gold spot prices, you know, gone through the roof, as we know, in the last uh, two years. But the exploration gold companies have not gone along for the ride. Any comments on when you think that might actually start to occur? And should we get in on the gold exploration plays now? Well, at these prices, the economics of gold mines are going to be very strong, regardless whether they go up or not. But I truly believe gold prices will go up. They've been lagging behind, uh, partly because investors shifted to cannabis, uh, shifted to cryptocurrency. But when the Ponzi scheme of cryptocurrency crashes, I think you'll see a major push back into, uh, into gold and, the, and things that are solid and backed by something real. Uh, so, uh, and I think you're also starting to see inflation raising its head. So that in itself should also help our gold price, but uh, we're quite comfortable at 2,300 Canadian, which is where it's at today. And we're operating in the Canadian market. So um, uh, that's, uh, we're, we're quite uh, comfortable in that 1,800 US or 2,300 Canadian. So, uh, but we'd like to see it even go higher and we think it will. Well, Jim, there's a lot of sharp investors that happen to agree with you. So thank you so much for joining us today. Everybody out there at Investor Intel, this is Mass Gold with Jim Engel. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Tracy.